Hey, what's up guys, Aaron here. So we got some FTX and BlockFi updates for today. We have Pantera trying to buy the Solana tokens from the estate, and that is over $6 billion of soul that they wanna buy. We also have BlockFi coming into an agreement with FTX that is going to give BlockFi creditors a lot more money. So I will touch on that a little bit later in the video. There is also an independent examiner that was appointed. I'll cover exactly what his role in this FTX case is, and a couple other things I want to touch on, including the claims portal and also what the FTX customer ad hoc is up to right now. But right here we have Pantera, which is raising funds to buy Solana holdings from FTX, and they want to buy up to $250 million worth of SOL tokens at just $60 a token. The current price of Solana is $167, insanely high. So they are looking to literally get some of these soul tokens for a fraction. And the reason that John J. Ray wants to do this is to free up some money for creditors without putting immediate pressure on the token's price. The FTX estate holds 41 million soul coins, and that is equivalent to roughly 10% of the total supply of Solana. And those that buy these soul tokens will initially be locked and will vest gradually over four years. So they're trying to get liquidity to pay creditors and not just pay creditors, pay the CFTC, pay the other interests like BlockFi, ironically, which I'll get to in just a moment. But there's a lot of creditors that are like, wait, why can't you just distribute those soul tokens directly to the creditors? And why are companies like Pantera that have nothing to do with FTX, why are they reaping the benefits of this bankruptcy? So that is a great question that this FTX ad hoc group is trying to address and get before the judge. And maybe they'll win, maybe something will happen, not quite sure. But before I continue with everything regarding BlockFi and everything going on with FTX, I wanna talk about the sponsor of this video, which is Claims Market. So if you have a really, really large claim Claim, like over a million dollars right now the bid is 90 percent and the ask is 95 percent so there are claims buyers that if you list your claim with claims market that are paying a very very high percent for claims right now literally the highest it has ever been so that's what claims market is it's a marketplace for claims now if you have a smaller claim you won't get as much as 90 to 95 percent if you have preference exposure or clawback exposure that will obviously affect how much someone's willing to buy your claim for as well. And personally, I am not an FTX creditor, but if I was and I was able to sell my claim, personally, I think I would. Because right now, most likely we will be capped out or you will be capped out at 100% of your petition priced claim. If you don't know what your claim is worth, you can go to FTX Calculator on their website, enter your customer number, click search, and then you will see what your actual claim is worth. There are benefits of selling your claim, but I am not here to tell you what to do. But basically, you would get immediate liquidity and money within two to three days, probably. And then if you wanted to reinvest into the crypto market, you can do so. If Bitcoin rips to $100,000, you would then get the upside of that. So if you want to reach out to them, if you have any questions about selling your claim, I will include their information below. Reach out to them if you have any questions. So let's talk about BlockFi and how much money they are going to be getting back from FTX and how that will bring more money into BlockFi creditors' hands. So from this settlement with BlockFi and FTX, BlockFi will receive a claim of $689 million against Alameda, which $250 million is entitled to be treated as a secured claim. BlockFi is also going to get a $185.2 million claim against FTX.com. So it's hard to know exactly how much of an increased percent people are going to be getting back, but we're looking at $689 million. Not quite sure exactly how much of that BlockFi will actually receive. $250 million seems like it's in the bag, and then $185 million against FTX. But that's still hundreds of millions of dollars. So me looking at this slide, looking at the claims for interest accounts for $1.2 billion, I can see that being an additional 20% or so on what you already got for your claim. It seems to me like that would make a lot of sense. So for BlockFi holders, this is actually very, very good news. We don't know when this is going to come, maybe this year, but we will see good news for BlockFi though. And finally, there's the appointment of an independent examiner. So a couple things that the examiner is going to look into. The first are potential conflicts of interests arising from the debtor's counsel, meaning Sullivan and Cromwell. 
serving as pre-petition advisors to FTX. Also, the examiner is going to look into reports of widespread fraud, and also they want to look into FTT. This is the token that was issued by FTX that was used to inflate the value of FTX and Alameda Research. And on Wednesday, March 20th, this motion to appoint this examiner will be heard before the judge. So that'll all be very, very interesting what the examiner pulls up. But I just want to end the video with these two things. If you have not submitted a claim, I would suggest you do so. So I'll include this website below. You would select your platform, whichever one you were involved with. You will then complete your KYC, know your customer, which is very, very important that you do immediately if you have not done that. You'll review your account balances and then you will file your customer claim. So even though the bar date has passed, apparently, this website is still working. So if you have not done that, I would suggest you do that and definitely do it to complete your KYC. So guys, that is it for the video. Thanks for watching. Basically right now, we're just waiting to see if creditors will be getting more than 100% of their petition rock bottom claim, which is really, really sad. I personally don't think they're gonna get much more than 100% and other people in FTX are kind of believing the same thing right now. So if you are a creditor in FTX, we don't know exactly when this is gonna wrap up and when you will get your check in the mail, which is unfortunate. You're not going to be getting crypto. It could be the end of this year. It could be moving into 2025. We really, really do not know. And again, I just want to thank Claims Market for sponsoring this video. If you have an FTX claim and you don't want to wait and you are able to sell it, you can reach out to them and they could provide you with more information on that. Thanks for watching, guys. Till next time, talk with you soon and bye for now.